We're at the 2018 Golf Industry Show in San Antonio, and I'm joined by John Jennings, Superintendent of Shinnecock Hills, who's hosting the 2018 U.S. Open later on this year. So, John, um, when you're uh, in your preparation for the for the tournament, you have Toro as a partner. Um, how has it been working with uh, the Toro products and the machines as you're preparing for the tournament? Toro products have been extraordinary in the production and cost effectiveness and quality of cut, which is probably the most important thing in developing uh, an end product for our, for our uh, golfers to use, and also for the lead into the championship. It's the most demanding conditions that can come out of a championship in the United States, and we are uh, tasked with providing the best conditions that we can possibly develop in Toro equipment delivers for that for us every day. The Toro company has been making golf equipment since 1919. In fact, they were the first ones to create a mower for fairways at Minaconda. Uh, and that depth of experience has really made a big difference in their development, their innovation, and their ability to get products that are going to work absolutely perfect and flawlessly each time. So you've got these great products. Now, what kind of support and service have you gotten as you prepare for the tournament? Right. You, you, a product is only as good as its support and the, and the people that use it, but our support system, Store Tractor, is just unbelievable as far as making sure that we have what we need, when we need it, service, uh, getting equipment out, demo equipment when we want to see something new, and just getting things on site. They have close to a 92% fill rate within one day for parks, which is unbelievable. If you have something that should go wrong, they can take care of it immediately in sales, service, and support. So it's been a long road to get here, and you just have a few months to go. How do you feel? Are, are you excited? You know, where are you at in the preparation process? It's, we're about 125 days out now from the first practice round, so we're extremely excited. My daughter said it best. She said, Dad, you're always excited. Everyone else is just catching up, and I think there's something to say with that. But as far as uh, our preparation for it, we have a great staff led by our senior assistant, Mike Ford and our other assistants, Lindsey Brownson and Bobby Bolin, and they're assembling a team of volunteers right now with uh, uh, the volunteer experience when people come in from the moment they step off the plane until we bring them back after the championship. And just piecing all those things together uh, as, it's, as it's happening, I feel really comfortable about where we're going and the, uh, the team that we're assembling from equipment partnership, to the volunteers that are coming in for the championship. It's going to be a, an amazing event and uh, perhaps one of the best U.S. Open championships we've seen. Yeah. Well, we're really looking forward to it. Thanks for joining us. And be sure on GCSAA TV, we're going to be there at Shinnecock Hills for the U.S. Open providing behind-the-scenes coverage um, of, the, of the preparation in the final days leading up to the tournament. Thanks again, John. Thank you.